Sunday, July 27, 1980, at Brandywine Raceway. A crowd just short of 8,400 was getting ready for the $15,000 Invitational Trot, featuring a powerful field of world-class trotters. The Dean of Race Callers, Roy Shutt, describes. And the goal, Petit Evander gets away on top. On the outside, Idle Love is second. Namara along the rail is third. Calvert's moving up on the outside. Coming around for the top of the stretch, Idle Love is up there by two lengths. Petit Evander is second. That's Calvert coming third. Namara is fourth. Howard Weisinger moving with Lindy's crown as they come around for the top of the stretch. It's Idle Love. Idle Love went by the first quarter 29 and 2 by the stands the first time. Brushing up on the outside, Calvert takes over the lead. Idle Love is second. Lindy's crown third. Petit Evander fourth. Namara fifth. El Silcar and Lee Hop is the trailer. They move to the half mile with Calvert holding that lead. It's Calvert on top by a length on the outside. Lindy's crown on the move second. Idle Love is third. Petit Evander fourth. A gap of five. Back to Namara, then El Silcar, and we hop. Half time, 58 and 3. Off the back stretch, Howard Weisinger takes Lindy's crown into the it lead. It is only after a long Lindy's journey on the outside that Lindy's crown takes the lead. His sire, Lindy's Hamiltonian winner Lindy Spride, and his dam, Speedy Toe, a full sister to the great car. performer and sire, Speedy into Crown, and in the making, a new world four. champion. Coming to the top of the stretch, Lindy's crown is moved on top by four. It's Lindy's crown as they head for home of four lengths. Calvert second, Petit Evander. Lindy's crown like a champion up there on top, six lengths. Lindy's crown with the lead. Calvert coming second, Petit Evander. And Elsa Carr on the front end. Lindy's crown.